Hey everybody, this is Terry Rice at, at Foundry, and for this workflow, we're gonna look at how to deal with re-exporting annotations for Nuke Studio and Hero. For this shot, shot 33, the compositor has worked on it, and uh, now we have uh, to make a note on here, and we wanna go ahead and select our annotations. I'll select the clip, and I'm gonna do the clip, and I'll just do the current item. We'll just make one global one. And um, we make a note on here that we want the artist to address. Now, how is the artist going to get this information? In other words, if we think about it, we have uh, access to the comp inside of here, um, but we want to get these annotations back to the artist, the new ones that we make. So whether it's in version one, version two, version three, we don't want to uh, keep on making a new comp out of this, right? So I don't want to make a new comp with these annotations. Uh, I want to be able to just keep this one clip container inside of here and then have the artist work with updated annotations. Okay, so in order to do that, what we do is we just want to re-export the annotations so we've added a new annotation inside of here uh, what we can do is we can go under effects and then we're gonna go uh, sorry under exports and we're gonna re-export the annotations so I'll go ahead and select that and say yes so now if we go into our node graph I'm just going to close this comp as I had it open and then reopen it we now have the updated annotations inside of here, right? And we're looking at the pre-comp. So this is how we would handle something where we're looking at the compositing, especially uh, we're marking up with new annotations and rather having to re-export a whole new comp every time and then double up, triple up on our tracks, or it could be up to 15, 20 revisions, right? We just want to be able to get those annotations out. And that's exactly how we would do it. So that was the look in how to re-export annotations. Thanks for watching.